This is an archaeological breakthrough. World's oldest mummy, believed to be 8,000 years old, has been found in Portugal and it rewrites history. It was found on the coast of Portugal. Archaeologists are set to rewrite the history books after they uncovered new evidence that suggests the oldest instances of mummification occurred 8,000 years ago and in Europe. Researchers taken a second look at photographs snapped 60 years ago of several skeletons that were buried in southern Portugal. This new discovery and analysis of photos led to them to believing the oldest evidence of mummification actually did originate in Europe and not in Egypt or in Chile, as previously thought. During excavations in the 1960s, archaeologists discovered nearly a dozen ancient bodies in Portugal's Sado Valley. Analyzing previous developed photos, researchers now believe that at least one of those bodies has been mummified. They theorize that this was done to possibly make it easier to transport before its burial. Experts also evidence that suggests that other bodies that were buried at the site may have similar preserved mummies, implying that this was a widespread practice in the region. Mummification is most commonly associated, as we know, with ancient Egypt, where elaborate burial procedures were used more than four and a half thousand years ago. Other evidence of mummification outside Egypt is found in other parts of Europe, dating from about a thousand BC. But archaeologists have now dated this person as the oldest mummy ever discovered, and this mummy predates all previous instances by a long time. This newly identified mummy of Portugal pushes back the previous record by about a thousand years, then held by mummies found in the coastal region of Chile's Atacama Desert. So when it comes to hot and dry regions like Egypt and the Atacama Desert of Chile, mummification is a relatively straightforward process. But it's generally difficult to find evidence of mummies in Europe, where much wetter conditions mean that mummified soft tissues rarely stay preserved, according to Rita Peiroteo Sjerna, bioarchaeologist at Uppsala University of Sweden. And speaking to Life Science, she said, she as a lead author of the study said, it's very hard to make these observations, but it's possible with combined methods and experimental work. Other authors of the study said these burials generally conform to the pattern characteristics of the mortuary practices known for these hunter-gatherer communities, but aspects of the treatment of the body, including its transformation and curation before burial, are new elements. New insights into the use of burial places such as a very tight clustered of burials and the proposed cases of mummification and the subsequent internment of hyperflexed intact bodies highlight the significance of the, both the body and the burial place in the wider hunter-gatherer landscape of southern western Portugal. After observing the photographs, the archaeologists said that the bones of the buried skeletons were hyperflexed, meaning that their limbs had been bent far beyond their natural limits. This indicates that after the person's death, the body had been tied up with, uh, with bindings that have disintegrated since then. The team also found that the bones of the skeleton were in excellent condition, particularly the small bones of the feet, which generally fall apart completely from the skeleton as the body decomposes. Now, this is on Express UK by Anthony Ashkenaz. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.